Now kind of transitioning from the luncheon to food again, we're going to have um, a conference on um, a pretty much contradicting the belief that traditional food might not be healthy. So here today is Elizabeth Reynoso. I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about that. So give it up for her, please. Hi. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Elizabeth Reynoso. I'm a manager, promotor, promotoras manager at El Centro. El Centro is a non-profit organization here in Kansas City, Kansas. We offer services um, our community, Latino community here in Kansas and Missouri. Um, today, <laughs> it's an amazing uh, thing to talk about Latino food is healthy because we are working with our Latinos, with our people, just trying to not teach them, just try to help them to understand that we have an amazing and incredible healthy food. Um, I work with El Centro since 2007. All these years I have been working with a Latino community. When I live in Mexico, I graduate and um, I have my degree on communications. And I work in the media industry. I work in television and TV, radio and marketing. And I, and I know the strategies that the food industry has. And I know the strategies that they use just for just trying to sell their products. And now, working with Latino community and other, and other communities too, um, we, are to, we are to sharing with uh, our people the strategies that we can use just to recognize what is healthy and what is not. We have family come in our house and bring something because we have a party. It's a game, but it can be a party. Baby showers, family meetings, birthday uh, parties, graduations, weddings, quinceañeras. Wow, oh my gosh, this is a, a huge party. Quinceañeras, anniversaries, funerals, anywhere and everywhere we have food. We have food always. Every day, for, every, for everything. <clears throat> for Latinos, the food is so As important. I said, we are working with, with the Promotoras de Salud, just uh, trying to value the old Latino recipes. Uh, probably you know uh, or can hear about albondigas, tacos, pupusas, <laughs> enchiladas. Yeah? Right. Yes. Just faces that said me, yes, yes. You know. What delicious and amazing and healthy that food is. But the problem is the portions. The problem is the combinations. Recipe, taco. Do you like tacos? Taco is a taco. Tortilla, meat, some vegetable. Taco is a taco. The picture on the left side. What they can sell us? Tell me, please. It's a healthy taco, slim taco, gourmet taco, special taco, expensive taco. It's exactly the same taco that we prepared last Wednesday in, in our office. It's exactly the same. Taco is... Latino food. Taco is a taco, right? The problem is one taco or 10 tacos. That is the problem. We need to use portions. This is our portion. Now this. But what do you drink? Probably, can you help me? Probably. Some of you can use this as an example. We need to read these levels. You know, this is a fajita style chicken roll, um, a bar, enchiladas. Can you, re do you read the, le the food levels? Yeah? Can you read? You don't? Yeah. 
that lady. Can you read the, the first line on the nutrition facts? Uh, serving size. This is the most important, serving size. You need to identify for how many persons is that box or that bag or that cup. The problem is that we think this is just, just for me, no? It's, this is for one person. And no, this is for trees, is three ounces, yeah. This is for three uh, persons, and every, every size is 70 calories. Yeah, the problem is we never read the, the food level, right? We just take that we can want, and that's it. The problem is that our, our food is healthy. Latino food is healthy, but not in that package, not in that package, and not on that, in this size. We need to use this, right? The food industry is using our culture, our love of our nationality. Uh, they are trying to sell, but we need to work and we, we have a healthy food, but we need to know what healthy food means. The problem, <laughs> we have, unfortunately, our society, but we are talking about Latino food, we have uh, a huge gladiators against healthy habits. The food industry is giving us um, a message uh, in, in a not correct direction. Because um, if you can recognize some of the package said, low sugar, low fat, healthy, whole grain. But that's not true, right? Because we have a different uh, products that are healthy but when we went to the supermarket, we had many things, many things at the same time. For example, let me show you. This is a typical snack. It's a typical snack for kids or for you, probably. This is fruit, they said. But this is not a fruit. This is not a real fruit. This is a process product and this is only sugar but we can see raspberries blue blueberries a strawberry oranges um, fruits but what do you think about this Let me pass. what do you think it's not fruit in there Yes, but some of parents use that for our kids, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's something. It's it's just an example, but we have a bunch of products that we can buy, but it's not healthy. And now we are <clears throat> we are using our knowledge working with our community, telling that obviously Latino food is healthy, but we need to recognize it. Another example. Do you know quinoa means? It's a grain. It's a famous grain today. Uh, yes, yes we know quinoa is um, superfood, is healthy, for many reasons, but not on, on this, on this uh, box, right? Because this is a processed product. No matter what, they use this product selling us quinoa chips. Are you thinking that this is healthy? Quinoa is healthy, but, it, but, but if we use quinoa in the original grain, not quinoa process or, or quinoa chips. 
because probably the, the Newton value probably decreased on zero because this is process, right? We need to, to eat quinoa, but the original quinoa, not quinoa in this presentation. <clears throat> Unfortunately, this product is more cheaper than the grain, uh, the, the original grain. Because probably you can buy this just for four or five dollars. And the other product, the original, is probably 25, 26, the little bag. And what do you think that the people are, are buying? Cheaper one. Our problem is that we buy food just for be part of the group. Some people use quinoa and others use the, the other grain that, uh, and other grains that are used in the food industry right now. But they, they just try to sell us that ideas. Eat healthy, eat less, use uh, low fat, low sugar, but that is not our real. This is, this is the thing that we are talking today. Our food is good, our food is healthy, but we need to recognize what kind of food, what NCLR gave us the opportunity to work with their program, Comprando Rico y Sano. Comprando Rico y Sano is um, a program that we can to, to teach the community how to eat healthier on a limited budget. We gave the community just $5, and they can do an exercise buying healthy food, uh, $5 using just for, for one meal, for four persons. And they recognize that they can, they can uh, try to work with a budget, planning their menus, and buying the local stores, and have healthy food for, your, for their families. We are trying to explain the Latinos that we have the local farmer market because we we want to go to buy just uh, another stores. I don't want to say names. Another stores. Just trying to. We are trying just to say, you know, if you buy here, you can uh, help our uh, local farmer workers. We are work helping us to work with uh, our local economy. And as you know, uh, Local Farmers Workers is a, is a program that are helping refugees. And we try to explain them, if you buy here, you can help in other people. And if you go to the supermarket, you are helping rich people, right? It's time, to, it's time to take better decisions. This is an example that we are working in our community. Promotoras de Salud are sharing their social um, neighbor. They are working in uh, health fairs, uh, in uh, local stores. They are working every single day with our community, trying to help in us, El Centro Inc., to work with our Latino community. Giving them the information about that we have healthy food and we have resources and we have the opportunity to have a better life here. The key is the portions. The key is that we need to recognize that we have the power that what kind of food we want to eat, what kind of food we want to buy. Thank you.